Today I will show you how to bypass Windows 11 system requirements during the installation. You won't have to download special utility, so don't worry about that. The only thing that you need to do is to follow my instruction. So let's get it started. Here we go. As you can see, we are in the virtual machine VMware, quite popular virtual machine that will allow us to run Windows 11 and other operating system without need to install it on a PC or a laptop. We can run it literally from virtual machine. So what I did, I downloaded Windows 11 ISO from the Microsoft official website, the latest 23H2 version. And if you take a close look, you may see that I allocated less RAM, less processor CPU and storage. As you can see, we have only two gigabytes of RAM, one core and 64 gigabytes of storage. This is our hard drive. Now I will run Windows 11 installation. Literally, you will see the same window if you want to install Windows 11 from your USB stick. So I will click here, power on. And of course, I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. In this window, we just need to click on next. Install now. If you have a license key, you can enter it here. But if you want to activate Windows later, you can just click on I don't have a product key. For example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, click Next. And voila, we have this unhappy message. This PC can't run Windows 11. This PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. For more information, visit blah 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 website. So what we need to do in this situation, we just need to close this window. Click here. Yes. Now you need to hit Shift plus F10. So you need to hit two keys. Shift plus F10 and then it will open the command line. After you saw the command line, you need to type next, reg edit, reg edit and press enter. So what we need to do next, we need to find hkey local machine. So you may see hkey local machine, click on it. From this place, we need to navigate to the system. At the bottom, you may see system, click here. Very importantly, we need to click on the right mouse button and create a new key. Click on key, then type next, lab config. Be sure to type it correctly, lab config. After you created this folder, you need to move the mouse cursor on the right side. Again, you need to click on the right mouse button, but this time you need to select the word 32-bit value, click on it, what we're going to do next, simply to understand, we're going to bypass important requirements to install Windows 11. We will create special file to bypass each of the requirements. For example, CPU requirements, TPM requirements, or even RAM requirements. So let's get into it. You need to type bypass TPM check. Bypass TPM check, good. One more time, click on the right mouse button, create the word, this time type bypass CPU check. Be sure to type it correctly. Again, create this file bypass RAM check. Good, bypass RAM check. And last time, create the word 32 bit value and type bypass secure boot check so after you created these files bypass tpm check bypass cpu check bypass ram check and bypass secure boot check you need to click on each of these files double click on it in the value data you need to type one here where you see base you need to click on hexadecimal and click ok and repeat the same process with each of these files. OK, bypass, type 1, click OK, and bypass secure boot, type 1, and click OK. Actually, that's all that you need to do, so you can close this window, click install now. I don't have a product key, believe it or not, but it works. Yep. Everything works without any problem, so now we can install Windows 11. 
I want to mention one very important thing. Yes, this method still work even in 2024, but it may not work if your processor have only one core. However, I don't think that someone will install Windows 11 if they want to have a stable workstation, laptop or PC. So keep that in mind. If you have only one core, this method may not work. Regardless, you can install Windows 11 even on an unsupported laptop or PC, of course, if you want to. My conclusions. This method is still working in 2024. If there are any updates on this, I will let you know. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video about Windows 11 problems.